uh, also be joined by Yogendra Yadav, who's been listening very patiently. Yoginji, thanks very much for being with us. You know, job creation is something that we've been looking at. Also, whether enough has been done to take people out of poverty. Now, there are some statistics which the government has released. 25 crore people have been elevated from multidimensional poverty in 10 years. Hmm. Given the size of our country, that number is relatively small, but still... The government says that more has been done in poverty alleviation in 10 years than has been done before. Uh, how do you see that? Uh, Vishnu, I tried to listen to the speech very carefully. Uh, maybe I missed something. Did you hear the word unemployment in the speech? I did not. And I, when I, as I travel on the roads, when I move around, when I ask people, when I look at surveys, this is one thing that comes up at the top by every possible measure. And for the budget, not to die, I fully understand that it's an interim budget. And I actually appreciate that no major policy announcement has been made, which is according to the Mariada, which was broken in 2019. But now that the government has decided to follow the Mariada, I think we should uh, we should applaud it, but we should not suddenly call it great confidence or great move, etc. This is simple, normal courtesy that you do not do a full-fledged budget. But the one thing that required some kind of interim relief was the issue of employment. I see absolutely nothing there. Number two, uh, I, I heard Mr. Subramanian very carefully. Uh, and yes, I've been listening to this. He knows in economics infinitely more than I do. My simple question is, how long will we continue to hear these stories of CapEx, which will finally result in employment? When will that finally no, but sir, let me, uh, one way of looking, run, Yoginji, Yoginji one way of looking at it is if the word unemployment hasn't been used, then certainly they've spoken about areas of employment generation. For example, the purpose of the Skill India mission yes. is to generate jobs. Uh, Vishnu, I heard you speak about a fund which has been launched for this purpose, one lakh crore. Suddenly, I remembered another fund which had been launched uh, five years ago. In 2020, a similar fund was launched, surprisingly, with exactly the same amount, one lakh crore rupees for agri-infrastructure. What do we have at the end of four years? We have only 22,000 crore rupees of allocation, less than one-fourth has been allocated after four years of what was to be a five-year mission. Right. I'm afraid this one is going to be no different. And did you notice any budgetary allocation for this one lakh crore rupees this year? The trouble is that this government has got into the habit... In, in an interim budget, Yoginji, that may not be the case. ...without budgetary allocations for things. In, in an interim budget, I asked this question and I was told that, you know, if, if they, it does end up being the... and if they win the elections, obviously, and they come back, then this is something which would be... Uh, allocated. Hmm. So, uh, you, uh, you know, no. may I may I say that uh, this is actually not the case. That the government is in the habit of announcing things without making any budgetary allocation whatsoever. And the whole idea is it will be done by banks, it will be done by someone else. Why make declarations? And Vishnu, if there is no allocation, if this is not meant to be a proper budget, if this is interim, why make this declaration? Okay. What exactly is happening? And on the farmer's front, something that I'm somewhat familiar with, the one thing that every farmer in this country wants, and if this budget was at least about making some announcements, even if there was no budget, then why not make an announcement about legal status of MSP, which is what the farmers have been demanding? Why not simply acknowledge the fact that agri-GVA has come down to 1.8%, sure. which is so bad and needs to be addressed? Okay.